Shus, Rosh Hashiva, Rebbeim, my teachers, esteemed guests, and my very special friends. We just went on an inspirational Shabbaton in Lake Arrowhead, filled with learning, ruach, and reminiscing. While in Arrowhead, we opened the time capsules we created in the summer before ninth grade, and were simply blown away when we realized how much we've developed into B'nai Tzara. Credit must first be given to our parents, especially those who had the courage, and perhaps even the ruach hakodesh that many parents seem to have, to enroll us as the pioneer class of a brand new yeshiva. MBY has been nothing short of a bracha for me. But as Chazal say, I learned much Torah from my Rebbeim, but I learned even more so from my friends. I cannot speak about myself, but I must speak about the special friends who journeyed with me through four years of MBY, and those who joined us for three, two, or even one year. Twelve young boys enter ninth grade representing four different elementary schools. They gelled immediately into a single unit of friendship, affection, and support. To quote our ninth grade English teacher in a moment of frustration, they enjoy each other's company a little too much. <laughs> this original group entered yeshiva not really having a clue as to what a yeshiva is. Yet by 10th grade, they realized and understood how integral Torah is in their lives. By 11th grade, the survivors of the pioneering class and those who joined them began to become genuine B'nai Torah and to truly enjoy Torah for its for its own sake, the real definition of Torah Lishma. Through grades 11 and 12, they continued to grow as B'nai Torah and it has spilled over and had a tremendous ashba on the entire yeshiva. The first class had the challenge and the privilege of defining Mesifta Birchas Yitzchak and creating its hallmarks. They created a warm, positive atmosphere with smiles on everyone's faces, where the Bachim are comfortable with the Rebbeim and teachers and with all other students in the yeshiva, regardless of their age. This group of very special young men was faced with the test of whether learning Torah was to be just another subject in school or whether to give it primacy in their lives. Their decision, which is obvious to all, is what really has established Torah's primacy throughout the yeshiva for all future grades. Most seniors can't wait to graduate and leave, but for us in MBY, it is more of a kasha alai pridascha. Although we are excited to continue growing in our future institutions, it is tough to go because MBY is so much a part of us. As much as we have been giving credit for the Gishmaka atmosphere, throughout the yeshiva, nothing would exist without the Rosh Hashiva, Rebbeim, and the tremendous support of an exceptional general studies faculty. We have had incredible siyat de Shmaya, and in the future in Ritz Hashem, we will see great accomplishments from us. And we will know it all started here, and we'll forever have a deep bond with our Rebbeim and mentors and with each other. Before I begin, I would just like